Will the real Manny Pacquiao fans please stand up? What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I had to make this video. So, recently, Floyd Money Mayweather and top ranks Todd DeBuff, they were spotted in Vegas walking together. The video's on Fight Hype. So, there's a video of them just walking together, having some kind of private conversation. Don't know what they're talking about because it's private. And the thing that really gets me is... I thought everybody would be happy, both sides, both Mayweather fans, Pacquiao fans, and just really boxing fans. So I thought everybody would be happy. However, I'm seeing an emergence in Pacquiao fans or people who claim to be Pacquiao fans, and it's all negative. It's all like, you didn't want this fight to happen. I'm reading excuses. Like, so check it with, with this um, Mayweather and Todd DeBuff video. Like, if you go to the, I think it was on Fight Hype's website, I'm reading actual comments. I, I shit you not. One of the comments said, <laughs> yeah, Mayweather Walker with Todd in order to rob Pacquiao on the judge's scorecards. Like, what the fuck? Like, where is your confidence? Where is your competitive streak? Where is your manhood that your fighter will get the job done? Now, if you follow my channel, there's some certain fighters that I've always told you and I've always maintained I've really had a, a fondness for those fighters. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, Prince Nassim Ahmed, and Chavez Sr. Like these these are like go-to guys that you can't really go wrong with. I really just like what they brought to boxing, right? And me as a boxing fan, I don't know, maybe I'm just cut from a different cloth, but I'm riding with my dude. I'm like, okay, Roy Jones is moving up to heavyweight. He beating John Ruiz's ass. Simple as that. Even though that, you know what I mean, it's not as easy as, you know what I mean, it made it sound. But that's my mentality because I am a competitive person and I ride with my person. I ride with my dude. I'm like, Roy Jones, he's a beast. He, he's going he's gonna to find a way to get it done. But with some of the Pacquiao fans, we're not really getting that. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, Flomo, Pactar. I'm telling you right now, I've already assassinated the, the Pactars and the Flomos on my channel in several videos. I'm not doing that dumb shit. So if you ever expect to get a response from me, you got to come correct with real intelligent boxing talk because I, I don't do that whole Flomo Pactar. You're a Flomo. You're a Pactar. Like that, that's some kid shit. So if you want to talk, let's talk boxing. Let's really break fights down. I, again, I don't care who you're picking. And if Mayweather's side, if I seen this, in fact, I've seen actually the contrary. I've seen a lot of the Mayweather fans actually gain confidence. Like the Mayweather fan, just read the comments. They're talking shit. They're they're like, yeah, May third there's gonna be a lot of disappointment. I'm taking all bets. Mayweather did it, and I'm seeing people talk even more shit. Whereas before, when Floyd kept everybody in fucking mystery, some of the Mayweather fans, the diehards, weren't really as bold because they didn't know if he was gonna fight Pacquiao or if he's gonna fight Khan or or Cotto too or something. So since it's been announced, I, I feel like there has been an increase in confidence from the diehard Mayweather fans or the Flomos, as, as some of you guys call it. But with the Pacquiao fans or people who claim to be Pacquiao, which is why I'm asking where are the real Pacquiao fans, it's like, where is your confidence? Like people saying like conspiracy theories. Now, don't get me wrong. I've watched boxing longer than some of you guys have been on YouTube. You know what I mean? And... I understand it. Conspiracies happen, but these conspiracy theories are, are ridiculous because at the moment it happens, you don't really know. You don't really know. Like I would say Timothy Bradley, in my opinion, he lost to Pacquiao. It was a closer fight than people thought, but I felt he lost both fights to Pacquiao. And in the first one, I didn't go in expecting it to be a robbery or controversial. It just played out that way. You know what I'm saying? So for a person to leave a comment and say, yeah, they're just walking talking about robbing Pacquiao like that that sounds like a lack of confidence to me because first of all just using that logic there this is not casino you know what I mean there's no their phone's not bugged and wiretapped and shit like that if that was really severely like that's your conspiracy theory and that's really your plan you think that's going to happen why wouldn't they just talk on the phone about this, some shit like that or or get a hotel they're rich you know what I mean why wouldn't they just get a hotel room and discuss their plans to rob Pacquiao and again, it just makes no sense. Top rank, Pacquiao, that's top rank's bread and butter. He's the, the number one earner for top rank. So why would his plan be to walk with Mayweather in broad daylight in front of spectators and obviously people filming? And 
discuss plans to rob Pacquiao. Like, that, that sounds horrible. And check it. Look at it like this. The other thing is this. So you mean to tell me top rank, even though I just told you Pacquiao is the biggest cash cow that they have, don't you think he's worth more to them off of a Mayweather victory? Being the first man in history to defeat the number one pound for pound guy. So they're going to conspire with the enemy, with Mayweather, a person who's been difficult to make a fight with, according to them, for years. They are going to get this plot going to rob their fighter who would stand to make even much more money for them and himself in his next fight if he is the first to defeat Mayweather. Do you see how stupid that sounds? So I don't know what it is. I refuse to believe that these are real diehard Pacquiao fans, but... Some of y'all real Pacquiao fans need to get in these comment sections and check these people because they're giving y'all a bad rap, making y'all look real bad with uh, these types of comments. You know what I mean? It seems like a severe lack of confidence. And again, if I see Floyd Mayweather fans exude this, I can make videos about that too. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? I just want to see Judgment Day. And Judgment Day is upon us. I told you. It's so, it's like, I don't, I don't even care. I'm going to keep breaking down, making my videos and stuff, but... I don't care because we're going to get an answer. We're going to get a solid answer. But just the lack of confidence is alarming. And I'm reading other comments like, yeah, Mayweather's going to run. Fuck that. If you are a fighter, it is your obligation to figure it out. Whatever they bring. And like with the whole running situation, here's why it's stupid. I would say the last good maybe four or five opponents that Mayweather has fought have really all claimed that he ran. So knowing that, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you devise and construct a plan, a game plan to thwart that, to stop that, to prevent him from running since you already know ahead of time he will be running? You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. Like Canelo said it, Robert Guerrero said it, Mike Donna said, oh, if he stood in, that's not for him to stand in place and, and let you slug him to death. That, that's stupid, especially if you have other intangibles that allow you to um, evade a punch. Why are you going to take an unnecessary shot when you don't have to? That, that's stupid. That's like my YouTube channel. There's other up-and-coming boxing channels. That's like them saying, yo, Ego, can you stop uploading videos for a month? Because I want to catch up in subscribers and viewership as you. Like, what the fuck? You think I'm going to do that? You think I'm actually going to do something like that, which would benefit other channels and allow them to gain some momentum and gain steam and catch up to me. Like, th that sounds stupid. And again, if you know in advance what it's going to be, then there are no excuses. So please stop with the excuses. One of my favorite holiday movies, Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin. You have a little boy. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> That's my part. But Home Alone. You got a little kid. I don't know. He's six, seven, eight years old burglars he overhears the burglars joe pesci and daniel stern say hey we're gonna break into his house his parents are out of town there's nobody there let's rob them cool so you mean to tell me a six seven year old has the wherewithal to devise a plan he comes up with the whole blueprint of how he can prevent the burglars from robbing his family blind so if a burglar tries to climb through the window he's going to put something that makes them slip right in front of the window. So they're like, oh shit, I gotta take my shoes off. So they take their shoes off. Then once they get through the window, he has broken glass and broken ornaments right beneath the window pane. So they're gonna step on that and fuck their feet up. Or they touch this door handle and it's burning hot. And they have a flamethrower that lights their head on fire. Then they're gonna get hot and try to dip their head into the toilet. So this motherfucker devised all of these plans so no matter what your what the burglar's point of attack was, they're climbing through the window. They're going to the bathroom. They went upstairs. They're on the roof. There's a trap set in place because he knows they're trying to rob him. So you mean to tell me, I know it's a movie, but a six or seven year old can come up with a proper game plan to prevent burglars that are obviously bigger than him. It's like Macaulay Culkin. He can't. He's not going to beat their asses. He's like Joe Pesci is not a big dude, but he's bigger than Macaulay Coke and Daniel Stern's six foot. You know what I mean? He can't like overpower them and, and fight them off. So what does he do to ward them off? He puts them through hell and he devises a plan where no matter what door, you try to come in through the basement. I got something for you. You try to come through the front door. I got something from you. You try to come through the window, broken glass, broken ornaments. 
You know what I mean? So you like, oh, you're, you're trying to come through the front door. I'm going to drop a brick on your head. Whatever it is. So stop with the excuses. Point blank. Just stop. If Pacquiao wins fair and square, if Mayweather wins fair and square, it is what it is. Let it be what it's going to be. But stop with these conspiracy theories. <laughs> They're going to rob him. Like, how do you know? Like, like that's stupid anyway. How do you know? Like, I'm, I'm sick of these excuses and conspiracy theories. And again, if I hear Mayweather fans make them, which I haven't really heard too many Mayweather fans make excuses like Pacquiao's going to run or, you know what I mean, they're they're planning to rob Mayweather and all this extra shit. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Thank you.